السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله وهي the airport الحمد لله for the second trip ولي الله الحمد first one went well and when everyone told us الحمد لله we got good reviews good feedback from everyone الحمد لله you know it made us even work harder for the next trip because we really believe in giving people their rights people pay money for this we don't want to shorthand people you know so we want to make the trip the best catered for them we're here for the after as well to create a brotherhood to create a place where brothers can come together and you know brothers meet new brothers and you know you know, in the Mal-Mu'minuna Ikhwa, you know, the brothers are about believers. So this is, this is what our main ethos is and that we want to really implement. So Alhamdulillah, we just got to the airport, brothers have met each other. Everyone's a bit shy, they don't really know each other yet. Brothers come from Holland, Australia, Sheffield, London, Birmingham, all over the gaff. So Alhamdulillah, inshallah, they'll meet each other and they'll get closer over the time, over the trip. And we'll see how it keeps going, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Can everyone hear me, yeah? Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa ala Rasulullah, ma ba'ad. I know it was a long way in everyone, innit? But inshallah, we'll get there, innit? And even the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he said to us that traveling is a portion punishment of the hellfire. It's how you feel some hardship. It stops you from eating, drinking, and resting. But inshallah, we all know where we're going, and it's going to be worth it. Inshallah. So we just have to be a bit more patient with each other. Because I always told the brothers, we, we all chose together to come as a tour group. Like everyone could do their own thing. It could have been easier for you. Like you could have gone Umrah by yourself, but because we came as a group, it's only right we stick together as a group. So, inshallah, um, just be more patient with us. We'll get there, inshallah. It'll be worth it. When you see that, when you see Medina, Mecca, inshallah, everything's worth it. Man, you would have went through this ten times over. Alhamdulillah, it's arrived in Medina. Alhamdulillah, as you can see, sounds baking. Alhamdulillah, make sure you got my good side, actually, man. But yeah, alhamdulillah, coach is here. All the brothers are on. So tell us, man, how, how, how's, your, how's your experience been, man? You look tired, but it's been a tough journey. But alhamdulillah, now that I'm here, I feel enlightened. I feel like there's weight off my shoulder, and the weather here is beautiful. I was expecting it to be sweaty and hot. It's, it is hot, but it's got a nice breeze to it. So, yeah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah, I'm just happy to be here, catch up some sleep, and inshallah, get into the deen. Inshallah, hear that. The brother just needs to sleep, and then we're going to do a retake, and you're going to see how active he is, inshallah. <laughs> Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen We are now currently situated in our hotel in Medina The group came yesterday And many things we have done from them uh, We gave them a tour of the masjid Also they sent salam on the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Alhamdulillah tonight Shaykh Haytham Sarhan Hafidhahullah Ta'ala Will be giving us some of his time In a sitting that we have arranged for tonight so, Alhamdulillah we've got all the brothers on the coach On the way to the istiraha to the Majlis of the Shaykh, Haytham Sarhan, Hafidhahullah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make this successful. We'll see you on the next part. Assalamu alaikum. There's another problem. Qal Muslim Jadid. He will say, I'm a, Muslim, I'm a new Muslim. How can you be a new Muslim while you've been a Muslim for a whole year? When are you going to become an old Muslim? Every time you're told come and learn something, you're going to say, I'm only new. Or do this, you're going to say, come with the excuse, I'm new. Come and learn something, you're going to be with that same excuse, I'm a new Muslim. But <laughs> you tell that person, get married, that, that new is gone, they're not a new Muslim anymore. Allah Sahih. So I was sitting with the Shaykh Haytham Sarhan Hafidhahullah wa ra'a has just ended and the brothers are just playing some football. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, foul, 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 foul. Ten seconds left, Akhi. Right now, you can win the game for your team. <laughs> That's it, done! Oh! Emotional! Oh! What do you got to say? Easy, light, light, man. It's light, bro. Hello, <laughs> everybody. Assalamu alaikum. South London's finest. No, How you finding it tonight, Akhi? Wallahi, alhamdulillah, today's been beautiful. Allahumma bari. Oh, wallahi, it's an overwhelming journey. It's my first time here. Wallahi, you guys are treating me like family. Jazakumullah khair. Welcome me in. Yeah. Amazingly, I couldn't ask for nothing, bro. Wallahi. He's not getting paid to say all of this as well, you know. Of course. Not getting paid for any of this. Oh, He's saying, you look all right, yeah? 
I see a couple man hiding from the camera, especially man like Abu Hafs. You saying you got anything to say for us? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. La 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 la. Evident. Wallahi. You gotta come for yourself, Akhi. It's a recharge, man. Even Jareed was. Wallahi, subhanAllah, man. I've only been here for two days and I feel like I've been here for a lifetime, man. It's a blessed city. Inshallah, when you go to Mecca, it'll be even more blessed to be in the Lalkari. Haven't played football in three years. First time. I'm very good. Champions. Alhamdulillah. All praise to Allah. All oh, praise to Allah. A couple days with the brothers and so far, Alhamdulillah, everything's perfect, bro. And inshallah, it gets better as well, bro. Prophet Sallam said, Kuntuna nahaytukum an ziyarati al qubur fazuruha fa innaha tudhakkirukum al akhir. I first, at the beginning of Islam, to visit graveyards was impermissible. Then it was allowed, and the purpose of why graveyards are visited is to remember death. Firstly, for yourself, to take heed. When you become so indulged in the dunya, you forget that your final destination is the grave. You go there, your heart becomes soft again, you start remembering. Then, as you are there, it is the right upon your Muslim brothers that you pray for them, not pray to them. Shwaib, you've been here before, yeah? I've been here. I've been waiting to come back to this place for, for since four months ago, bro. We're in the juice place. I've never seen nothing like it before. Look at the high ceilings. Say that again. They're an awesome store for them, man. Wait. Can you the evidence from the Quran? Taste test. No words, no words. No, no words. <laughs> that is good. Like some oh, oh, that's good. That's nice, yeah. That's very good. So for tonight, inshallah ta'ala, Ustad Abu Mecca, hafizahullah ta'ala, he's going to give a reminder to the brothers, a little interactive session, which is going to be very fun, and I'm sure you'll see, inshallah. And then after that, um, as the brothers have been having many sessions and lessons, we are going to take them to a place where they can um, ride some horses, um, do a bit of go-karting. Inshallah ta'ala, they will have a bit of fun. Jabber, what's happening? Alhamdulillah, I would say, Akhi, step back, Akhi, man. Go for it, they always want me to lie back. But let me, let me tell you how it's getting down right now. We're just about to jump on a coach, little horse riding, go cutting. Last time, you know what I'm saying? The brothers didn't really. No, no, no. You try to take me out of the limelight. You, you can't even speak normal. Let me chat to you. Yeah, no, you walk with you, walk with you, man. This lead is better, Allah. Hey, Allah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I give it a kick, man. Hey, who you man saying kick it? You're not gonna kick it yourself, though. Nah, I see. Hey, see. You sure, yeah? Wait, wait. Say nine, say nine. You're not gonna kick it. Hey, me, I'm not even jumping on it. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Barney, you're going the wrong way, bro. <laughs> Messi, get me off here. <laughs> I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Let's play some nothing else, yeah? Today's gonna be vibes. Vibes. That's it, vibes, man. <laughs> but hey, hey, hey! Yeah. I'm gonna let you man know the verdict. I've done laps for. Musa, I have to give to him. I've done laps. There's the skill. There's the skill. There's the man of his words. There's the man of his words. Four. Three. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Yes, you're here. Oh, you are now.
Alhamdulillah, it's officially our last night in Medina. Today was a jam-packed day, pray Fajr in the Rawdah. Then we took the brothers to the Museum of the Seerah. Afterwards, we have now ended the interactive session and the reminder at Mount Uhud. We should be upon the way of the Prophet Sallallahu and the example of the companions. That's who we should take. Not these stars and these, these people that we see on our phones that we're influenced by. Prophet Sallallahu he similarly said, Al-Jum'atu ila al-Jum'ah Wal-Ramadhan ila Ramadhan Is kafaratu lima baynahun That Jum'ah to another Jum'ah And Ramadhan to another Ramadhan Is an expiation for what occurs between the two From minor sins And likewise the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam He similarly said That an Umrah to another Umrah Is a kafara expiation To what occurred between the two Umrahs والحج المبرور ليس له جزاء إلا الجنة. and the Hajj that is accepted it doesn't have a reward except جنة. we ask Allah عز وجل to accept our Umrah to accept our Hajj if we come in the future and to make our final abode جنة. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله. as the speaker the coach is behind us we're about to leave towards مكة. الحمد لله we spent our time in the beloved city of the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. Now it's about time that we leave, inshallah, and go towards Mecca, you know, to the sacred Kaaba, inshallah. Many of the brothers of us today, it's their first time doing Umrah, so it's going to be amazing for them, inshallah. Inshallah, Allah allows us to make, make, makes it easy for us. First of all, we're going to go past for later. We're going to make the intention, inshallah, and enter the state of Haram. And inshallah, we're going to, from then on, we're going to make ways to Mecca. Can everyone hear me? Can everyone hear me? Yes. Alhamdulillah, we've reached Dhul Hulayfa. This is the Miqat that we're going to enter the state of Ihram. Alhamdulillah, here as you can see, the voice is gone. You know what I'm saying? But we're here, we're here, we're surviving, man. Inshallah, we're like two hours and a half away. The bodies are active, man. You see energy in the car, man. Alhamdulillah. It's just a water break, then we're back to battle, inshallah. I go. I'm the Hussein, we should arrive, you tell us man, how's the journey? Oh, it's amazing man, you know the voice is gone and you know the catchphrase for the strip, it's not hurting, it's not working. It's not, it's not hurting, it's not working, alhamdulillah, we're nearly there, we're just gonna get our bags in, but now alhamdulillah, man, let's go, let's go, let's go. First look at the room. How does Kafirun go? قُلْ يَا أَيُّهَا الْكَافِرُونَ لَا أَعْبُدُ مَا تَعْبُدُونَ وَلَا أَنْتُمْ عَابِدُونَ مَا أَعْبُدُ وَلَا أَنَا عَابِدٌ مَا عَبَدْتُمْ وَلَا أَنْتُمْ عَابِدُونَ مَا أَعْبُدُ لَكُمْ دِينُكُمْ وَلِيَدِينُ Allah. 
Tuesday. Yes, all right. Come today we're going to play football <laughs> with Ibn Jarir Tours. It's yeah. going to be more like a vlog style instead of you know the usual cinematic sequences. Brothers are all ready. Yeah, if you guys follow me to the lobby in this beautiful, wonderful architectural structure of a hotel, you can see. Oh, yeah. it was we said you're already today. I was sleeping. I just ran up quick. We got our commentator. We say Arif. How you feeling today? Bro, I'm a referee, bro. It doesn't matter how I'm feeling. <laughs> your favorite ref uh, Akram. We said how many goals are you scoring today? No, I'll admit it. But you know what I'm saying? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. How you doing, Akhi? Come on, bro. How many goals are you scoring today? Minimum hat trick. Just feed me. Minimum hat trick. You That's my boy. Oh, bro. I'm gonna get the ball from one of the boys from the, on the left. Mm. I got top bins straight to the right. Top bins. Top right. I'm bolted in it. Yeah, we saying the Superpowers. Headers are gonna be smoother. And I feel <laughs> faster. Well, you know. Super. Woo! Aye, aye, aye. Ooh. What a goal! What a goal! I was stuck for like a month. It's a pitch, man. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, we've been in Mecca for a few days now. Uh, the brothers uh, done their umrah, as uh, you may well know. Yesterday night, the brothers played some football in 10 sessions, that's all we can say. Today, inshallah, the brothers are going to be going to uh, Jebel Noor uh, to go up the mountain and see Cave Hira, where the Prophet ﷺ, uh, received his revelation. And uh, we're not going there for any act of worship. We're not seeking barakah from it. We're not getting any reward for it. Just the exercise that we get the brothers together just to bond, get a nice view from the top. And we'll see who gets at the top first. And there's a prize for that person. So inshallah ta'ala follow us and be a part of our journey. Assalamu alaikum wa We ain't even started the mountain climb yet, but a couple men are already taking breaks. No name. When I was these lots age, bro, I used to climb three mountains in a day, man. Yeah. Uh, we're in the age. age. It's the age, bro. <laughs> it's the age. My Achilles is done and I still came first. The person who killed 99 men killed 99 people, guys. Killed. Killing is not a small thing, Akhi. Killed 99 people. When he went, went to repent, he went to someone and asked him, Will Allah forgive me? He said, No, Allah is never going to forgive you. So he killed him as well. 100. He completed 100. The guy was ignorant. He didn't know about, he didn't know about Allah. So he went, he said, Okay, he felt bad again. Okay, I, I've killed 100 people. He went to a scholar now. He said, who's going who's gonna to stop you from repenting? Just leave this land where you're doing this sin. Go to the other land. On the way to the other land, he died. The angels... They, both the angels they came, the, the angels who take the bad souls and the angels that, who take the good souls They both came to take his soul, they were arguing, he's bad, he killed 100 people No, but he repented So what did Allah say? Allah, Allah, Allah sent another angel saying See where he's closer to, the new land or the old land where he used to descend If it's the old land, the hellfire, if it's the new land, take him to Jannah They saw that he was closer to the old land So Allah said, Ya hadi aqarribi, oh, oh new land, come close And your old land, go, back, go far away and so he was closer to the new land, so Allah took him to Jannah. Because he repented. If, Allah, if you knew this knowledge, if someone knows this knowledge, how can they ever think that, they, that Allah will never forgive them? Because shaitan, it's from shaitan. That's why Allah said, min rahmati rabbi ilal dalun. Who loses hope in the, in the, in the hope of, in the, um, in the mercy of Allah, except for the misguided people? So Alhamdulillah, we just come out of Jum'ah, holiest day of the week, one of the most holiest places in the world. I'm about to take the brothers to a top, top restaurant. After you lot see this restaurant, everyone that comes to Mecca is going to go here. They've got the best lamb chops, they got the best passion fruit mojito, and so much more. So inshallah, come with us today, I'll show you the way. Come on lads, this is the famous boy. Where is it? Where is it? waiting for, right there. What are you saying, the famous boy? I send the location right now, yeah? If I send the location right now, the whole team's coming here. Oh, I didn't hear it. It's calling my name. It's calling my name. Brothers are getting so overwhelmed at the menu. The menu is crazy. 
this one. But we're gonna yeah. see when the food comes get that, yeah. how good the food is. Tell us Tomorrow already you're gonna come back. Yeah. You ain't even eating the food yet. No, I can't <laughs> so you made that decision over the decor. Bro, the picture quality is doing it for me still. <laughs> Coming back. What is this? This is mushroom soup. Mushroom soup. Is this the best soup you've had and type of food you had since you've come here? Hundred percent. Come on. Let them know what we're dealing with, yeah. Pina What's colada. And, uh, Mm. Steak sliders, bro. Like Serious. You know what they call this dish here? The all famous mac and cheese. All famous mac and all cheese. All famous mac and cheese. Am I ready, yeah? You're ready. Yeah. Camera's on you. The main event. The main event. The chops, what everyone's been waiting for. What's that over there, Hassan? I don't know, bro. It's looking good. He's saying it's kicking off. It's kicking off. Best food I've had in the whole of Saudi Arabia by far. All I have to say, I, I, there's too many words, I just have to, I feel blessed, Alhamdulillah. What's going on? What's the Bro, I told you not to come! <laughs> hey yo, I saw the mac and cheese, and I laid my eyes on that. I told Dula, buy Dula, buy a butter, buy, let's go. The brother called me, he said to me, let's go eat. There's a nice place, I said, nah, man, I thought, you know, this brother eats, the type of food he eats, I thought, nah, man, he don't really know much. What do I eat, what do I eat? Fool and, he eats cheap food, innit? A lot of cheap food. Now, the ones that, when they say, don't look at their fingers, just take the food. And cheese. Mac and cheese. When I saw the mac and cheese, when the toilet, I brushed my teeth. Came to the shop, man. He teased. Hey. He brushed his teeth. I'm <laughs> out of my bed. Hey, mac and cheese. And now, there's a big uh, rivalry going on between the brothers. They had a football session the other day, and there was talks about um, a second leg. Don't know how close it is to Champions League, but. We'll see, inshallah ta'ala. So now we're just going, you know what I'm trying to say? Obviously, we know what's going to happen. They're trying to say it's a redemption round, man. That's, that's what they think, innit? Whatever helps them sleep at night, we're coming for the win. Nothing, that's nothing. You know what I'm saying? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, welcome to the second leg of Yasser and Nasser and Sadi Yassin versus Jabir's team. Inshallah, let's get some pre match interviews. Nasser! What's your name? 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 What's your they say, your legs are vehicle. They may ask why this is <laughs> yeah. out of traveling. The way the goal is going to be traveling into the goal, <laughs> it requires this special dua. No, I just told them, subhanallah, <laughs> and carried on the dua. Okay, the way the goals will be traveling into the goal. Let me, give them, let me give them context. Okay. We won last match. So the fact that we won last match yep. shows that if we I had, I had win now left. this match, then it's going to be 2 0. If we don't win by the qadr of Allah, yep. then it's 1 1. What do you say, Lachi? What's the prediction for the match? Prediction? Yeah. Top goal scorer, as you know what I'm saying. So now we're going to speak to the opposing team, the captain of the opposing team. The captain right now is a bit fiery. You know, he said to me, yeah, but we lost our best play. Already their, their mind has been boggled. But let him carry on the interview. Excuses, excuses. A wise man once said nothing. No, so a wise man once said nothing at all, but he did it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lachi, <laughs> what is your goal predictions for today? No, I don't score, I just defend my team, bro. Oh. I do the I play anywhere, top tier bowler. If I play defense, those go past me. That's it, bro. Okay. We'll see, the we'll plan see. is to get the victory here, then go to Kiamole and get the victory there. Allah. Inshallah. Akbar. Yeah. Al Fawz. Oh, man, man. <laughs> okay. We oh, yeah. we'll see a little blue, blue yeah. red yeah. blur, yeah? Come in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Right, left, and square. Let's go. Get on, get on, get on. Ayo! 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 I read And the underdogs won. Akram, Sahib. He tried to hold you, he blocked it. Listen, underdogs, Akhi. Underdogs, the guys try to write us off, man. They try to make two teams only. But Alhamdulillah, underdogs always prevail. You know what I'm saying? You say, hey, I was injured as well. I was injured as well, man. Hella man are injured now, you know what I'm saying? After the game ends, hella man are injured. Subhanallah. Don't know what's happening there. Um, so the journey here, obviously, I, had no, I, had, I did not expect it to be like this at all. I did not expect to use brothers. Obviously, we're from Australia. You guys from the UK. I didn't know what to expect, but well, as soon as we landed, we were greeted by some brothers. 
I sat next to a brother on the coach on the way. He was so nice. Well, it was very good speaking to him. Um, and well, like, it just got better and better and better as the trip went on. You know, Medina, the feeling was just amazing. Hearing the Adhan out loud for the first time was just like, wow, it was an amazing feeling, you know. And then coming to Mecca, um, singing, um, saying the Talbiya and on the coach as we came into Mecca was just beautiful, man, with all the brothers. Well, that was an amazing experience. And Jazakallah khair for all of you as well. I'm so grateful. The, the experience has been amazing. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but Medina was just absolutely beautiful. Alhamdulillah, it was just something just absolutely surreal. And then coming to Makkah, it was just, I don't, bro, I, words just can't describe it. Um, I know what you're trying to do to me right now, bro. <laughs> um, sorry, bro. Last time I cried, um, thanks to tears of happiness, is when I held my firstborn, <coughs> my firstborn daughter, and I just like exactly right now, just blubbed out, bro, like a little baby. But the first time I saw the car, but bro. Subhanallah, it was just unreal. Um, and yeah, it was just, look, I'm just seeing it right. Look, I'm an old guy, man's on motion, you know what I mean? Man's got three kids, you know what I mean? <laughs> unreal, I didn't know what to expect. Obviously, just coming with my little brother and my brother-in-law, that in itself was a blessing. Um, and then even coming here, just all the, the brothers here, it was just like, it's like we all know each other, do you know what I mean? And it was just absolutely beautiful. And yeah, it's just... Um, Overall, the experience was absolutely unreal. It was like, I wouldn't even call this a holiday, but this beats any country in the world, any city in the world. This Makkah and Medina is just absolutely beautiful. And the brothers here made it even more so beautiful. So, just like the head for that. It's been very eye opening. I've increased in Iman. I've got closer to brothers that I didn't know. I only met them a couple of days ago now. But brothers, you get me, they're all righteous brothers. And it's been an amazing experience, alhamdulillah. Very eye-opening. I feel like I go back to the ends now and stay away from all the nonsense, alhamdulillah. Doing Umrah was amazing, of course. Uh, of course, it's always amazing. Seeing the Kaaba again brought tears to my eyes. You know, one thing I liked about this is that I'm seeing a lot of young brothers over here that have, you know, doing their Umrah and stuff. I never thought about that. You guys are a lot younger than me. Never once did I think about coming here with my friends. You know, you guys make it into doing an Umrah, completing something Islamically and making a trip with your boys. Never once did I think like that. You guys have opened my mind to that. What I could do with my friends when I go back home, I can speak to them and be like, look, why don't we all do this together?